She was born Joe Raquel Tejada on September 5, 1940 in Chicago, Illinois, the first of three children of Bolivian-born Armando Carlos Tejada, an aerospace engineer, and his wife, Josephine Serra, Hall. The family moved to San Diego, California, her father was transferred, when Raquel was only two. Taking dance lessons as a youngster, she grew up to be quite a knockout and nailed a number of teen beauty titles, Miss Photogenic, Miss La Jolla, Miss Contour, Miss Ferris of the Fair, and Miss San Diego. Off campus, she became a local TV weather girl in San Diego and eventually quit college. Following the end of her marriage in 1962, although Raquel and James Welch didn't divorce until 1964, she packed up her two children and moved to Dallas, Texas, where she modeled for Neiman Marcus and worked as a barmaid for a time. Regrouping, she returned to California and made the rounds of film slash TV editions. She found work providing minor but sexy set decoration on the small screen, Bewitched, 1964. Mikhail's Navy, 1962, and The Virginian, 1962, as well as the large screen, Elvis Presley's Roustabout, 1964, and Doris Day's Do Not Disturb, 1965. Box office bombs abounded. Try as she might in such films as Kansas City Bomber, 1972, and The Wild Party, 1975, which drew some good reviews for her, her sexy typecast gave her little room to breathe. With determination, however, she partly offset this with modest supporting roles in larger ensemble pieces. She showed definite spark and won a Golden Globe for the swashbuckler of the Three Musketeers, 1973, and appeared in the mystery thriller The Last of Sheila, 1973. She planned on making a comeback in Cannery Row, 1982, even agreed to appear topless, which she had never done before, but was suddenly fired during production without notice. She sued MGM for breach of contract and ultimately won a $15 million settlement, but it didn't help her film career and only helped to label her as trouble on a set. Welch took advantage of her modest singing and dancing abilities by performing in splashy Las Vegas showroom acts and starring in such plausible stage vehicles as Woman of the Year and Victor slash Victoria. She spoofed her own image on occasion, most memorably on Seinfeld, 1989. Into the Millennium, she co-starred in the Hispanic-oriented TV series American Family, 2002, and the short-lived comedies Welcome to the Captain, 2008, and Date My Dad, 2017, along with the movies Tortilla Soup, 2001, Legally Blonde, 2001, Forget About It, 2006, and How to Be a Latin Lover, 2017. Sadly, she died at 2.25 a.m. on February 15, 2023, aged 82, at her Los Angeles home after suffering a cardiac arrest. She had been suffering from Alzheimer's disease.